Vision requires the most... Hmm, you look like someone well-versed in matters of the grotesque. You're no oil painting yourself, sister. I can see that you're begging to ask, so I'll tell you, yes. I am an artiste, a sculptor, of perceptions, of minds, of reality itself. Francesca. Sorry, I'm not in the market. NFTs is the thing now. Since the dawn of humankind, art has challenged us and elevated us. Now more than ever, it is art that will save us from our moral decay. You want to help save people, don't you? Well, that's a broad brush. Define people. Some might say that. Then go out and collect me infected flesh. You can rip it straight from any of those mindless conformists wandering around. Or perhaps you already have some to donate. When you've got enough, put it in that bucket there. Charming knack for mental imagery you got there, Francesca. One question. Why in God's name? Oh, <laughs> how can you be so obtuse? I'm creating my magnum opus, my masterwork. I am Michelangelo, and you must bring me the finest vein marble. Now go! Madness. By his thematic. My medium is death. For how else should we understand life? <laughs> <laughs> And begin the sublime pain and sacred pleasure of new creative birth. Or you could paint some flowers, a sunset maybe. Feet up by tea time. My god, we've barely begun. I need rarer, more exquisite parts. I've been listening to the inane chatter on the radio. I've heard of marvelous and monstrous beasts around the city. I must mold their fantastical corruption. You know, there is a point in every man's life where you must look at yourself in the mirror's eye and declare, tonight I'm going to neck the whole blotter. Mark this. My artistic flow is paramount. I'll place my requests on the board up there. When you bring the matter, do not interrupt me. Just drop it in the bucket. The bucket? The bucket! We can trade for my aesthetic leftovers, but as I pass you the dregs of my creativity, consider what residue of your own will you discard. Don't answer, just let that stew for a while. I made a bet with myself you'd have something to give me the next time you came by. 